in this video i'll be showing you all how to find the mean standard deviation and the variance using a scientific calculator and i'm using the casio brand i'm sure everyone who is doing a math course must own or should own one of this scientific calculator it's very helpful and this is how we work these three using the scientific calculator first step we must ensure that we clear the memory because if other stuff were in there from time, we need to get rid of it. And you see M up there, we want to get rid of that M. First, you're going to press shift and then mode and then choose number one to clear the memory. Memory clear, you have to select equal. You see that M up there? It will leave after you press equal. So the memory is now cleared. Next step. We have to ensure that this calculator is on the SD mode, standard deviation mode, um, mode rather. So let us select mode. And then we're going to select two. The corresponding for the standard deviation is two. So we select two. See, it's now on standard deviation mode. All right. Then we have to know add these values to the calculator the midpoint the, all these we, we need them first and then we're going to add the frequency after but first we need to add these same thing x for midpoint f for frequency let's work with this first so the first value is 50 i put it in i'm going to now press m1 do not press the regular plus sign you have to press m1 to add this so you see n equal one it's showing that the first number um is in already that's number one we need to continue 55 m plus again we see that the second number is in two and then we continue with the third and so forth so we're now adding the third one so that's three So that's a seven number. We see that seven number is in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Correct. Seven number should be there. All right. So we're going to clear the screen. We want to know add the frequency to match. So we're going to go back using this button, the up button, the arrow, the up arrow. Yes. We're going to press it to find frequency one. Right, so we find frequency 1, we're going to match it now. So the frequency for 1 is 4. We're going to add 4. All right. And then you're going to press the equal sign. It will show us that the frequency for the first number is 4, which is correct. We're going to search for F2, frequency 2. And for frequency 2, the second number it is 7. So we're going to add 7. Equal. Frequency 2 is equal to 7. Second number, correct. As you can see. Then we're going to find 3 and continue for everything. For 3, it is also 7. You add 7 equal. Frequency for the, for the third number is 7, correct. We're going to find 4. And for the fourth one, it is 8 equal. We're going to check for the fourth one. It's 8, correct. Then we're going to find 5. Let me see. Yeah. Then for the fifth one, it is 6 equal. For the fifth number, 6, correct. Then we're going to find 6. For the sixth one, it's also 6 equal. Mm -hmm. And then we have the final one, which is F7. And it is 2. So for the seventh one it is two for the frequency so we have everything input so the this calculator have this in its memory so what we're going to find now is the mean this is what we find the mean you're going to press shift then you're going to come to the variance this is the variance button we already press shift so we won't get two we will get variance this is for one is for the sum two is for the variance you're going to select two then we're going to see this on the screen of the calculator we're going to select one and that is equal to 63.875 and here it is 63.88 why it's 88 we round off the seven 
and we know that we should put one on it if it's more than five or more and it's five or more so we add one to the seven and that is eight so we have 63.88 that's how we get that so we get we prove that now we prove the mean we are now going to prove the standard deviation shift again we're going to press number two for the v for the var that's various because we know that everything is already in the memory so we're still going to just find what we're looking for and we're now going to select number two and this is the standard very the standard deviation sorry so that is 8.55 we don't need the rest of number behind there 8.55 correct then to find the variance we're going to square this and the answer will be the variance so answer squared is equal to 73.109375 we don't need all of that we're going to round off and after the zero we have a nine so it's more than five we put one and we add one and we get 73.11 so that's the variance that's how we work mean standard deviation and variance thank you